Today, we are finally doing a complete review of my cheap Amazon leather burnishing machine. Let's get into it. Okay, so this review is pretty long past due, but I just really wanted to get used to using this machine before I gave it a review. I've had this burnisher for eight months now, and honestly, it's amazing. If you don't feel like watching a full review of this thing, then I would safely say just go and buy one of these now and skip my review if you just want to take my word for it. It is one of the best tools that I've bought for my shop and right now on Amazon, I think they're between $145 and $190. I think I got mine for $135 about eight months ago, but they're absolutely worth every single penny. I'll leave several links down below in the description just because these things do come in and out of stock fairly regularly. They sell pretty good, I think. I am seeing them pop up more and more on my Instagram feed on different leather workers pages. So I'm not the only one using one of these. They are becoming pretty common. And if all my links below do show out of stock when you click on them, just kind of fish around on Amazon or uh, type leather Amazon or leather burnishing machine and something will pop up. All right, with all that said, let's get into the review. Now we are going to need to kind of jump between this desk and my other desk off to the side here, because when I installed the burnishing machine on the desk here, the screws were really soft and I stripped the hell out of them and it's kind of a permanent fixture on that desk until I decide to actually get those screws out of there. It also only had screw holes at the front of it, which made fastening it to the table kind of awkward. I've seen pictures and videos of this machine in other shops where they just secured it at all four corners using some L brackets, and that's probably what I recommend. So this is my buddy Chris from Orman Leather, and as you can see on his machine, he has the L brackets at all four corners there. Obviously, they're not attached to his desk. I assume that's because he was making a video but you can see how it would be more stable to have it secured down at four corners rather than just the front like mine is. If you're not already following Orman Leather, he just started a YouTube channel, as well as he's pretty big on Instagram. I will link his YouTube then his Instagram down below, as well as I'll put a card for his YouTube channel right here. Absolutely worth a follow. He's a great dude, and he does amazing work. He uses a lot of Michelle Cordovan. Cordovan? 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 I don't actually know how to say that. Someone could let me know in the comments. I'd love it if you guys would head over and show him some love. He uh, does just amazing work. So when it comes, you get it in several small pieces in a small box. Uh, I have an unboxing video for it if you want to wait till the end of the video and go check it out. But it just comes in a small box. Doesn't really matter how it comes. It's in a box. First, you get the machine unit itself, which is stuck to my desk. You will get a couple of these things, which are little posts that go on either side of the machine. Uh, they're held down by Allen screws or hex screws, whatever you call them. Comes with an Allen wrench to fasten it down. You've done it before if you've ever put together anything from Ikea. Super easy. It comes with three different attachments. So you have your sanding drum, and it does come with some sanding sleeves, but mine has it on. Comes with the sanding drum, the burnishing drum, which has several different thicknesses. It's also actually surprisingly smooth. It's, uh, it's way smoother than my hand burnisher that I got when I first started, so. It also comes with this thing, and I didn't know what it was at first. Uh, after I put out my video, a few people enlightened me. This is like a polisher, so you would put buffing wheel in here or you can do a few layers of leather, clamp them down, and then you put it on the post and secure it just the same way you would any of these things. And then when you run it, you have kind of a buffer polisher thing. I've never used this even a single time. It sits in my drawer. I actually had to spend 10 minutes finding this for this video. It does come with all the hardware that you need to fasten these, couple nuts here, uh, as well as, like I said, it came with that Allen wrench thing. Comes with a couple cheap wrenches that will help you secure these down. They work just fine. It does come with six different sanding sleeves. 
Uh, they are two different grits. I believe they were 80 and 120. They are not well labeled inside, but I think I remember that's what it said when I bought it. Uh, you can check the listings, but you can feel the difference. Those will not completely eliminate sanding if you want really nice crispy edges. You are still going to need to do some hand sanding, but that does kind of do your rough sand, gets everything nice and level for you to go in with the hand sanding and get it nice and smooth. That's nice to have. It also comes with these two weird springy things. Now, when I first got this, I didn't know what those were. I kind of looked at them and thought they were just something stupid. Again, a bunch of viewers of the unboxing video enlightened me and told me that these are spare brushes for the motor. These are very important. A motor with brushes will eventually burn through these, so it was nice to get a spare pair. I'm still on the original one, so it hasn't even come close to dying on me yet. I haven't had to worry about replacing these, but hang on to your spare brushes. These things will come in handy at some point. And if you do lose them, I looked on Amazon and these things are dirt cheap. I'll link some of these as well. There's also a version of one of these burnishers that kind of has like a Dremel attachment that actually goes on the end of one of these. Uh, it's just a long spindle and then has your Dremel heads and I think it's universal. I think it'll hold most bits, but I kind of wish that I got that version. It wasn't too much more expensive. I just didn't think that I needed it. And then I've seen a few guys that have it and it looks super handy. So if you want to spend a few extra dollars, I would recommend buying that. I haven't seen that part sold separately. So it's kind of one of those decisions you got to make in the moment and get it right off the bat. And like I said before, you do get a couple screws to fasten that thing to the desk, but they are super soft metal. I'd recommend using different screws or better yet getting four L brackets and kind of just tapping into the sides on all four corners. It'll hold that thing down a lot better. That is held down just fine, uh, but I did have to screw it in and then kind of back them out because it kind of uh, pulled it down and pulled the back end up when I screwed it in just with the two front screws. So it is working, but a better option would be the L brackets. Let's just head over, we'll put this thing together and then I'll run some leather through it and show you how it works. So first what you're gonna wanna do is put these posts on either side and just tighten them down with the Allen wrench. You can see there is a little flat spot on the spindle here and that's where you'll want to secure the screws down onto it. After that, you're just gonna put your attachments on there. I like my burnisher on the left and the sander on the right, but you can do it however you see fit. Doesn't really matter. Just do it how you're comfortable. Now you're gonna put the nut on the end of the post there and just use the two provided wrenches just to tighten that down nice and tight so it's not gonna come flying off. Now you're just gonna put your sanding sleeve on there. It uh, is a kind of a tight fit and mine is already on the drum here. So it was a pain in the ass sliding it on, but just kind of slide it on there. You'll get it eventually. There's nothing tricky to it. It's just a pain in the ass. All right, and now it's time to fire this thing up. You have a switch on the left, which turns power onto the unit. And then you actually have this variable speed knob. I find that I usually sand at quite a bit slower speed than I do burnish. But there is a little bit of an art to this. Don't think you're going to be amazing at it right off the bat. It's not too hard, but it just takes some getting used to. Those sanding sleeves can take off a lot of material in a hurry, so you don't want to push too hard or spend too much time in one spot. And here I'll show you a super exaggerated uneven edge, and I can get that nice and flat with the sander, and then we'll just do a super quick burnish on this, just so you get the idea.
And that's the machine. Honestly, I love this thing. I know I've said it a few times before and uh, I've had a bunch of people reach out to me asking me, but it's a great machine. Do I think it's the best machine ever made? Absolutely not. There's some way better ones out there. Uh, Weaver has a great one as well as Cobra, I think, makes an amazing one as well. But this is more for like a hobbyist leather worker. This will be just fine. If you have a big shop and you're pumping out, you know, hundreds of pieces uh, of leather a month, then maybe go with a more heavier duty option. But for us guys uh, sitting in the basement at home, this is just fine. This will be all you need. I should note that Tandy sells the exact same machine for about $100 more. They actually just paint it red and kind of rebrand it, calling it their craft tool. Honestly, I've looked into it. It is the exact same machine. They paint the casing red. Don't buy that. Go and buy this thing. Save yourself a hundred bucks. With that said, these sanding sleeves, because Tandy sells the same machine, they also sell these. So you can get these at most Tandys, as well as you can buy them on Amazon. I'll link them down below, but yeah, you can go to Tandy. They're cheap enough that it doesn't really matter. And that's the machine. I know I didn't really go into specs or anything like that, mainly because I'm not a tech reviewer. I'm not great with that kind of stuff. You can see all the specs for it on the Amazon page and go through it if you want to. You are not going to get a better machine than this for that money though, for the sub $150 price point. That thing is unreal. Nothing's going to come close to that. If you're just starting to upgrade your equipment, you're kind of uh, past the total beginner leatherworking stage, this machine is a good move for you. And then I would also pair it with my favorite uh, tokenol pen. This paired with that machine makes burnishing so easy and so fast. I've had a bunch of people reach out to me and say it cut down their burnishing time by like half. It's unreal. Get this, get that if you can afford them, and you will thank me later. Both amazing. You can check out my unboxing video for the Burnisher right up here, and you can check out my tokenal pen grog marker hack video up here. Both good videos, both will help you out. That's it for me though, I'm out of here, bye guys.